Hi guys, it's Arwen of Tarot by Arwen, and I wanted to show you the Penumbra Tarot. I tried to do a live of this, but was unable to. Um, and just so you know, if the camera gets bumped, it's right here in front of me, so I keep bumping into it. This is the Penumbra Tarot, Evoke the Liminal Space. Now, liminal space is a lovely um, word for the, the between space. It's something we use in our um, retreats that I go to or used to go to in World War II again in the Seattle Islands. The guidebook's by Ethany with Eris Elizabeth, and it said it was created by Eris Elizabeth. So let's take a look inside. Look how pretty that is. I don't know if y'all see it. I may have the, the cameras a little too close. Let's pull it back so. There. Look at that box. And it is a magnetic box. It's manufactured by Ethany Enterprises. Congratulations, Ethany, on growing your company. Copyright 2021. We all bought it uh, in 2022 because of uh, supply backups and all of that. Penumbra, a space of partial illumination between the perfect shadow on all sides and the full light. A surrounding or adjoining region in which something exists in a lesser degree, a fringe. Something that covers, surrounds, or obscures, a shroud. So I really love this idea of the liberal space and the penumbra tarot. Um, it's a word associated with eclipse as well. Here's the guidebook. And my autofocus doesn't seem to be autofocusing. Oh, maybe it is. I have all my computer glasses. It's a very thick book, y'all. And look at the little the edges. See? Oh, look. Seven Rings, Ariana Grande. Well, that's going to put me right out because I, <laughs> I, luckily I know who Ariana Grande is. Um, look at that beautiful, beautiful sword. I'm hoping that's a queen of swords. Um, Eris brings notes. There's songs. What's at the apogee and what's at the perigee? So high and low. Ace of torches, element of swords. There are reversals. So for soaring quartet. Interesting how they spell quartet. Oh, the Queen of Night Cactus. That's a very pretty flower. So, the hanged one and a full color, right? You could just you could do a reading with the book and just pop it open and see what came to you. So, Two of Pentacles. Let's flip to the very end. Oh, what is that? Now, okay. So, oh, sorry. I am just doing a terrible job of showing you this. The element of Pentacles. The Agent of Pentacles, the Crown of Pentacles, and the Throne. Now, and there are our two who worked on this. And I love, 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 love Ethne Bad Bitches Tara. Um, and the Awakened Soul Oracle. She's got some amazing product out there. Ah, Eris is also in the Western Australia. Ethany is Australian as well, but she lives in Canada now. And here is just a little note. Look at that. So pretty. So pretty. Open it up. I'm bumping into it again. Look at this great. Yeah, wonderful. I love this chat, this um, table of contents. Legacy is by Tara, or by Ethany. The apogee is what inspired it. Perigee is additional notes and a song and a playlist on Spotify. Sadly, I'm not on Spotify anymore because of the Joe Rogan controversy. There's one way to bless. And it gives you full instructions. Here's some activities you can do. A spread, 
why quite a few squares i like that i like when they all give you more than one look at that how pretty that is and then you start so let's take a look at this and here is what anthony says this deck should arrive in perfect condition yeah it did um appreciate your review well you're getting it baby show your stuff okay i will um a lot of you know that um on i'm on instagram i'm not on i'm on tiktok but i'm not on tiktok primarily there to watch my niece be silly um so but um i shut my instagram down to private so if you want to friend me over there and follow it you're welcome to i'm, I'm not going to be as business-like on it let's take a flip through i'm not going to be very slow the colors on this, wow, the palm granite with the emperor is perfection for me. Yes, for the emperor. The hierophant. The love is just very intriguing. The chariot. Strength. I like to the dragon in the way. I like that. The hermit. Let's see if I can do this a little differently. The wheel. Oh, ha, ha, ha. The Wheel of Fortune, that's very right away, right? Except for the, oh, they've got a koi, a frog, dragonfly, and I'm not sure what kind of heron that is. I almost looks like a secretary short, uh, secretary bird, but I'm very, these are my animals in the corner. Justice. I like the, the movement and the texturing. I mean, it just looks so beautiful. Blue them off in the deck. That's interesting. Temperance, gorgeous red wings. Devil. Now, I saw, sorry about that. I am yanking this around again. Let me see. Focus. That light looks a little bright to me. That's probably better for the. That looks like a nuclear power. Ooh, the star is gorgeous. Look at the nails, really nice long nails. A kooka, maybe? I'd have to look that up. I believe that's a kooka. It looks like one to me. The sun, griffin. Yay for griffins. I love griffins. Judgment. Now, that's an interesting judgment, right? The seeds, the hands. I'll have to read about that. That's a very interesting. Oh, look at the backs. All right, beautiful. And it does have, uh, I don't think I showed you the flashy, flashy sides. I really don't like the flashy sides, but that's just me. Everybody else does. The world, which I'm room. Now, we're going to the first. I like decks that start with swords because that fits my worldview. Ha ha ha. Um, okay. I kind of like that's a guy. Often that's women they show there. Three of swords, four of swords, five, six. Uh, interesting they have a dog in the six. The seven, he does look sneaky. But he almost looks like he's craving, like saving the swords. That's interesting. The eight, kind of a more allegorical, I guess. I don't know if that's the right word. Rather than seeing the person in amongst the swords, you see the hand side, the nine of swords, ten of swords. Now, this is an interesting ten of swords. Right? She's kind of in the earth. She's kind of rooted. And that's, that's interesting with these pieces around. I'd have to look up more on that. Element of swords. That would be the page. The agent would be the knight. Hmm. Feathers, that, that's kind of a sword ish in there. So just feathers on the agent rather than swords. There she is. That is the queen of swords. I love the birds up there. The throne shows the guy. So there's still gender. Ace of torches. You've got a face of want two of torches back here. Interesting, because this is a uh, decision that she almost looks like she's looking into the well here. 
three of torches, four of torches, five of torches. Now that's interesting, right? They're all coming in at this um, heraldic lion. Six of torches, the classic winner. The seven of torches looking a little bit my side there. That's an interesting choice with all different types. Eight. Hmm. Not sure about that for the eight of torches from now. I have to think about that. Nine of torches. And I do not expect every deck for every card to resonate with me. That would be silly. Ten of torches. This is um, a fury. Her name is um, Orna Remy. She is one of the, the Furies. The element, the agent. See now he's got a torch. The crown is a man. And the throne is a woman. So they're reversing. I like that. Ace of Cups, yay for goldfish. I don't think we have enough goldfish anywhere. <laughs> I love that Two of Cups. Now, this is a great three of cups. Instead of the traditional three women, we have a woman, a woman, and a man. That's great. Thank you for that. Four of cups. Five of cups. Six of cups. Now, that's kind of sweet. That almost looks like a fairy tale. Seven of cups. All the choices. Eight of cups. That's really cool. I really like that one. Nine of Cups. This is generally the Make a Wish card. It's a translation of it. The Ten of Cups. See the dog? Wait. I can't tell, but it looks like the dog might have the cup in its hand. That's cool. Element. Oh. Agent of Cups, I may have to get that one as a um, print. I am in, in love with octopus. One, two, six, seven. Huh. Oh, I'm trying to make them have, they don't have to have numbers. Huh. The crown. And look at a throne, a man of size, not a little skinny boy. I like it. Ace. The two of pentacles. She's got a little belly. She, I like her. She's very earthy. Hmm. That's an interesting three of pentacles. It doesn't capture the idea of what I have of three of pentacles, but it's pretty. Four of pentacles. Oh, the bird's nest back up here. Oh, that's a great five of pentacles. Six of pentacles. Absolutely helping each other. It's a, a give and take. It's a back and forth. Seven of Pentacles. It's kind of like a little sweet smile. Did I look at it again? That gum it. The Eight of Pentacles. The apprentice, the worker, the journeyman, and the craftsman. Nine of Pentacles. Pretty typical for um, a Nine of Pentacles in terms of woman and bird. Love that they use the peacock's tail as the Carrier of the pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles. That's an interesting. I think they're going for ancestry in this Ten of Pentacles. Um, I often use it for business success. So that's an interesting. I'll have to again read. Element, seed, agent, the kangaroo, the crown, and the throne of pentacles. And now here is interview your new tarot deck. What kind of reading will you excel at? What are your strengths in the tarot deck? What are you here to teach me? How can I connect best with you? What card sums you up the best? Well, I am not going to. Well, maybe I am. Let's see. Let's just do a uh, quick couple of shuffles. Okay, the, these are really new. So they're not going to shuffle well yet. Do not judge the cards on my shuffling. Let's see. Yeah, that's a great shuffle. Okay. So I try to do corner shuffles because my I'm getting arthritis in my hands. And so I'm not always able to shuffle as I'd like. Yeah. 
Yeah. And I do these. I always I cut with my non-writing hand for me. That's my left hand towards my right. So again, I move the darn. So let's see what we get. We've interviewed your new deck. Okay. There. What kind? <laughs> Sorry, guys. What kind of reading will you excel at? Let's see. Throne of Pentacles. Hmm. Business, family, community, physical stuff. So um, when people are asking about jobs, when people are asking about things that are less up in the air and more touchable, this will be a very good deck for that. What are your strengths? Blow and shut up. Right. Um, but no, helping people see um, that the lies they tell themselves need to come down. That's actually one of my favorite kind of readings. What are you here to teach me? Ace of Swords. Seeing things new, thinking new, getting insight. I like that. How can I connect best with you? Bethany, I swear if the devil shows up. Um, and it hits the magician. Um, so that's interesting. Using spell work, using magic, Ethany is a fellow witch, so that does actually make sense. And what card sums you up the best? Y'all, the Ace of Cups. So that's a really lovely, lovely connection, and I am super happy to have this deck in my hands. It is the one I've been looking for. So thank you so much for looking at this with me, and as always, I love you. We don't say it often enough and we don't hear it often enough. So remember, even if I haven't met you, I love you. And I'm Arwen. I'm the professional joy seeker. And you can find me at tarotbyarwen.com where you can book a reading or take a class. Seek joy, y'all. Pass it on.